heck is that at five o'clock in the morning? They'll wake up the whole house. Niles! Oh, good, you heard me. Van Gogh heard you. He's dead and missing an ear. Well, that's attractive. Oh, it's a bite plate. I grind my teeth. <laughs> you know, my cousin Eileen ground her teeth down to the gums. She doesn't smile much anymore, but my cousin Bob has never been happier. <laughs> what? You sleep in your makeup? <laughs> Honey, do you see a ring on this finger? <laughs> Do I need some gorgeous fireman climbing over me to save the 16-year-old heiress? <laughs> Ma, what are you doing here so early? This is how you sleep? Where were your earrings? <laughs> Good girl. Oh, hello, Niall. Good morning. Do I smell banana fritters with fresh fruit compote? No. <laughs> Could I? <laughs> so, as long as I'm here, how did the date with the doctor go? The date was canceled. Oh, well, you're gonna have to get used to that when you're the surgeon's wife. He's a tree surgeon, Ma. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can still make reservations under Dr. and Mrs. Ma, <laughs> I canceled the date. <laughs> Darling, you think I'm gonna hit you? Well, you decided not to see a doctor? What are you, sick? The kids needed me. Fran, you're obsessed with these people. When are you gonna get a life of your own? You know, Ma, I wanted to surprise you, but I did meet someone. He's a very successful investment banker worth zillions. Ah! Ah! The only thing is, I had to sign a prenup. Oh. <laughs> You see, Ma, I could kill you if I want. <laughs> now, lay off. Fine. Live alone. Have no one to talk to across the dining table. No one to make love with. Believe me, darling, I know what that's like. Ma, oh, you have Daddy. Where am I losing you? <laughs> She was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny. So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door, she was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more. She had style, she had flair, she was there. That's how she became the nanny. Who would have guessed that the girl we described was just exactly what the doctor prescribed? Now the father finds her beguiling. Watch out, CC. Smiling. She's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan. The flashy girl from Flushing, the nanny named Fran. Glenn, we couldn't possibly open our new show without you. Look what you did for Sunset Boulevard. Sure, I'll hold. You missed a spot. Where? There. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. Just playing with the domestic's head. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maxwell, your coffee's ready. <laughs> I'm never gonna pass this test. I might as well just go to a locksmith college. <laughs> You're gonna do great, honey. Just go out there and bring me home an A. Fran, you're supposed to tell him to do his best, or you'll make him feel undue pressure and he'll develop performance anxiety. <laughs> I have a history of that with men. Me? 